The secondary was the worst part of the team heading into the 2023 offseason. And Brad Holmes, he did a pretty decent job when it come when it came to trying to fortify that. We got Brian Branch in the draft, Emmanuel Mosley, CJ Gardner Johnson, and Cam Sutton in free agency. Going to this year, seems like we are picking up right where we left off. The Detroit Lions brought in, traded for a cornerback from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, brought in a free agent cornerback from the Las Vegas Raiders, and are now bringing in another corner for a workout, according to Aaron Wilson. Says free agent corner, I think I think that's Tavari uh, Thomas is visiting the Lions, his hometown team per today, per source. Play two seasons and was successful with the Texans. Thomas was a Division II All-American at Ferris State, played high school football at Allen Academy in Detroit. Shout out to my guy Donovan as well. I wind up not having notifications for Aaron Owen as well. And I just got some information that Chase Lucas has agreed to terms with the 49ers. Well, isn't that something? Shout out to Chase Lucas. He is now officially the first draft pick not to be on the Detroit Lions. The first Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell draft pick to not be on the Detroit Lions. Man, shout out to Chase Lucas. They getting a good one, man. It's a nice special teamer. That broke just now as we were making this video. But more about Mr. Thomas here. Um, if we look at his stats, he was undrafted. Back in 2018, I believe that that is, he just turned 28 just a few days ago. On the shorter side, 5'10", undrafted, as you can see, had 30 solo tackles, two forced fumbles, one pass defended, zero interceptions for 2023. First two years, or I'm sorry, first three years in Cleveland, I don't know why Aaron said he spent two years in Houston when it was actually three but as you can see here, the majority of his career, three of his career years, he's played all the games in the season. And then three, he has missed games as well. But then you got 2022, not sure why he missed games there. And I know that he was placed on injured reserve in December of last year with the Houston Texans. And he was making about a million and a half dollars last year with the Houston Texans. So there's no doubt that the Detroit Lions are trying to fortify once more that defensive backfield and we also have the the fact that jerry jacobs and now chase lucas going to the san francisco 49ers it does feel weird that chase lucas is no longer with the team and and that is now the like i said earlier the official first draft pick of brad holmes and dan campbell although he was a seven round pick that is no longer with the team so it's kind of going to take some getting used to but shout out to my guy donovan as well uh, let me know if you think that you like this signing. What we'll do is if we do indeed sign him, we'll go and we'll look at some some of his uh, draft as he was being drafted or in the draft, see what his prospect, you know, what they said about him as a prospect. We'll look into that. But let me know what you think in the comments below about another cornerback coming in, another undrafted guy. We've had decent success with undrafted players. And then Chase Lucas as well, signing a deal with the – 49ers that is crazy went from man wow went from the Detroit Lions to now the enemy of the Detroit Lions at least I look at them like that because of what happened in the NFC title game but leave your thoughts in the comments below this channel is made possible by viewers subscribers and members just like you take care of yourself and each other and as always go Lions